Earlier this spring, I was able to join Taco Bell and the San Diego Tourism Authority in talking with high school and college scholars under the Live Moss program, which brought students from all across the country into San Diego to learn about business entrepreneurship. And it was all under the banner of Summer of Connection. And I'd like to share with you the pitch I gave for the studio door. Hello, my name is Patrick Stillman. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I am the owner of the Studio Door Art Gallery and Artist Studios in Hillcrest, San Diego. Are there any creatives out there? I hope so. Uh, 20 years ago, I stepped into my own as a visual artist. I allowed myself one full year for a personal walkabout. Uh, to reconnect to my career goals, my creativity, my spirituality, and my community. During that year, I created Brotherhood Tarot, which was my first serious creative project, which still sells today internationally. At the time, I was clueless. I was literally the fool in my own tarot deck stepping off a cliff full of excitement and facing the unknown. Jump to today, celebrating the Studio Door's 10th anniversary. When you visit the Studio Door, you'll walk into our large 4,000 square foot facility and you'll be mesmerized by art that's hanging throughout the gallery, which we change out every month. And then as you explore those works, you'll realize that the gallery is surrounded by 17 studio artists. They're working around the clock, 24 hours, coming and going as the creative muse hits them. And then as you make your way out the back doors of the studio door, you'll find yourself in Mural Alley, where we hold community events and showcase large scale artworks with over 35 murals in Hillcrest. Let's take a look at the studio door. Simplistically, an art gallery is a store, an economic driver of creative commerce. And yet the studio door is a unique business model. Art sales, the studios, classes, and professional development are my financial foundation. My mission is to break free of the traditional constraints and gatekeepers in the art world to showcase boundary pushing art and amplify underrepresented voices. This also allows me to offer artists professional development to succeed in the artistic marketplace. Let me make this personal. Like most artists, I'm in my head creating. Um, it's a very solitary experience as you're working on the art. I painted this work, Pride and Protest, about LGBTQ civic engagement. I had no idea if it would connect to anyone, but I believed in what I was creating. Soon after I exhibited it, someone saw it, shared it with others, and before I knew it, the San Diego Museum of history asked if they could have it in their permanent collection. This is huge. 
Art galleries don't often accept gay art because the themes might upset somebody, uh, while museums often whitewash the personal relationships of LGBTQ artists entirely. So in two years, over 300,000 people have experienced my art. This one piece of art at the History Center. What a powerful lesson I learned as we are all interconnected and what we do and create matters. As you may have guessed, I'm a gay man and part of the LGBTQ community. I came out at 16 a decade after Stonewall, and I've seen a lot of positive changes for my community. And I've also seen a lot of misguided hatred. So I've become very protective of my extended family. So in addition to helping San Diego's artists in general, I aim to ensure that LGBTQ expression is visible. I found the perfect partnership with the nonprofit Lambda Archives of San Diego. Lambda is a Greek letter symbolizing LGBTQ liberation. The archives have a mission to collect, preserve, and share the history of San Diego's LGBTQ community. Together with arts and humanity, our collective efforts are slowly shifting the parameters of what the art world understands itself to be. Every October, we join forces during LGBTQ History Month to celebrate and create a intergenerational safe space that allows Lambda to reveal what San Diego's community experienced and created in the past, and for the studio door to connect it to what's happening in the community today. It creates an entrepreneurial platform for artists to meet patrons, introduce their body of work, and make sales. I realize that not everyone listening to this is an artist, so I want to walk you through two things today. One, as an entrepreneur, you are the business. You need to invest in your most powerful asset. And two, you don't sell to people, you build community. Don't wait for the fairy tale overnight success. Take action and set your sights on the long game. There are three things that you can do right now. One, know your stuff. Set aside one hour a week to learn something new about your industry. Read trade magazines, watch documentaries, go to a conference. The more that you know and can speak about your industry, the more impressive that you'll become. Two, say it out loud. You probably heard of the elevator speech, right? Well, let the world know who you are and what you want in the time it would take to have a conversation in an elevator between floors. You have a specific passion and personal goals, right? So learn how to express those things through personal storytelling and say it over and over to everyone you meet. Doing this can open doors when you least expect it. Number three, step into the real world. Don't wait until you graduate or for some future time point. Uh, seek out potential mentors now look for internships, call for informational interviews, be bold in putting yourself out there. The more practical knowledge that you can gain now, the better off you're going to be as you enter the workforce. In just 10 years, I've gone from the fool <laughs> to achieving things I never dreamed of when I started. My journey has taught me that anything is possible. Invest in yourself, and understand the community you want to reach. Let's wrap this up with the best advice I've ever received, which came from art historian and curator, Jonathan D. Katz. Nobody ever got ahead by being inauthentic. Recognize that you are the tip of the spear and the world will bend towards you.
It may not do so in the time frame you want, but it is inevitable. If you have time during your visit or you're in San Diego, please come by the studio door to walk through the gallery and discover art created for the world that you want to live in.